Welcome to another video of The Motor Shed. So, in this video we're going to get everybody up to date on where we are with The Motor Shed Caddy Project. Now, I wanted a caddy van for odd jobbing and generally adding mileage to something that was somewhere as economical as the Passat, but also something that I could just sling a donor engine in the back of and not be too worried about. I got my hands on this 1500 quid Caddy Maxi from Scotland, and then all the stars aligned as I had a Cat S Turan, yes that means rear seats, kicking around from my previous short wheelbase caddy attempts. The plan. Firstly, I'd need to assess what was going on with the engine that had been put into this caddy. I'd been told, I believed, it was from an Audi A3. Now if I couldn't use it, I'd need to swap the spare caddy engine I had from the original Cat S into this van. Then I needed to do some research on what I needed to retrofit these Turan rear seats into the Caddy Maxi, because now I had a Maxi, I had more space. Of course, once you start putting people into the back of a van, they're going to want something to look out of, so I'd need to order some windows. We're investigating, are we, James? I mean, should that be like that? Factory standard. No, that should not be like it's that. It's not even stainless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow that. Should come to here. Come on, that. that's it there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then the yellow doobry. This one. That's the yellow. That's the yellow doobry. Yellow doobry. Yeah. It goes from that, runs down to the airbox here. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. But yeah. that should be round there and plugged in at the bottom. Why has he ripped all those wires out of that? God knows. Don't want to know. No. It was clear at this point that the Caddy ECU was not happy with the Audi A3 engine. This may be because of a different turbo. We tried changing to a known Caddy boost solenoid, still no joy, but the Caddy was still going into lump mode as soon as it came on boost. We then confirmed that the Caddy at some point had had an EGR delete, hence the various bits of block plumbing, and we noticed that the Audi engine had an external thermostat, whereas the Caddy should have had an internal thermostat and more wiring had been chopped and extended for this, it was becoming quite clear that the caddy needed a caddy engine. And we had one. Time to cue the montage. Okay, that's undone, yeah. That used to be EGR, that. So we imagine it's had an EGR delete, because there's no codes for EGR. Also, that is just disgusting. So that, I mean, that's just... Well, that's engine man. That's just hilarious. I'm assuming the bolt's broken off. Ah, yeah, okay, glow plug wiring is on show. And here we go. Right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so. keep digging. Mm. These are multi-spline, however, I've managed to get that one in. The rest have had an Allen key end hammered into them. Cheers for that. These on this side were actually Allen key head. Two different sides. So, uh, yeah, it looks like they had an Allen key and, uh, you know, just whacked away. Anyway, uh, what else did I notice while I was here? Oh, that the turbo drain, I think that is, or pressure. No, I think that's the drain uh, feed. Yeah, anyway, both are leaking copious amounts of oil, and I mean a lot, all over here. And what else did I just notice? DPF. Oh yes, the DPF. So, these should be two 13 mil nuts on here that support the DPF on the back of the block. But no, the DPF is just hanging off the back of the turbo. So, again, excellent. It was at this point that Rob kindly offered to fit the new timing belt kit whilst I had a tidy up in the engine bay. I then started stripping the EGR out and putting in the bypass pipe for the new coolant reroute. It was now time to put this OG Caddy engine back into this Caddy Maxi.
Now we actually decided that before putting this engine in, we would swap the 5-speed Caddy gearbox for the 6-speed one from the Turan. Even though the cluster would indicate 4th, 5th then 5th, this can be coded out at a later date. Now the engine was in, we were going to call it a night and come back at it the next day. So, we've had to take the engine back out this morning because I forgot, I forgot, we forgot, it's the royal we, I forgot to uh, put the gear linkages on for the six speed. So, awesome. Now I've got to try and get this exhaust off as well. Probably not been off in 50 years. Well, Robert. Hello. You're cleaning the loom. Unfortunately so, yes. Which is in a rather appalling state, isn't it? It was at this point that we decided we wanted to roll the shell back a little bit. And when we went to fit the wheels, we realised that two of the wheel bolts had snapped off in the hub. Excellent. This meant Rob's early departure back to the land of Norfolk was going to be delayed, since we now had to swap both assemblies over from the Turan. A wee good time. You had a wee good time, eh? Hey? You were going to go home, weren't I was, you? I was going to go home. You were going to stop helping me. And you says, let's get this engine in and then we're done. But we've come across a snapped wheel nut. On that, oh, on there, look. What is going on? I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for having me. Thanks for food. <laughs> we need to fit this from the Turan. Come on, Bobbert! No! Come on, how are you? I know you don't want to leave a man behind. We actually decided that a better use of Rob's time while he was here was to help me get the engine and the linkages back in the caddy. I could then spend the next day sorting out the uh, glow plug wiring and the simple, that's right, simple, task of swapping over the legs and the hubs from the Turan to the caddy. Apparently the caddy drive shafts aren't the same length or diameter as the tram drive shafts. I'm not necessarily surprised by that, but um, I am surprised in the length. Diameter, yeah, commercial vehicle I'd get, but the, the, from what I've been told on Facebook and uh, you know the forums, or whatever, what I've been told on the forums, uh, it's a straight swap. Six-speed gearbox in, drive shafts bolt straight to it. They don't, for whatever reason. So they're the different lengths. The track width is going to be different. This has got 17 inch alloy wheels on it, might have to change them steels, put some spaces on the rear, I'm not really sure. Lower arms seem to be the same from the Turan and the, this caddy, uh, but everything else seems to be a different length, width or shape. So anyway, now I've got to take the, tur the Turan hubs, leg, the whole lot off, fit it to the caddy, hope that the different length isn't going to be a problem. So wonderful, yeah. 30 mil on the base of the hub to this rim, 430 mil. It's 470 from the base of the hub here to the rim there. So, 40 mil difference. But there is also a difference that gearbox that came out is actually from a 190 Ti. It's not a later model gearbox, which is weird, but anyway, it's been fitted, whatever. There's a difference, 265 mil from what I can make out, whereas on the six speed, on the Turan, space between that cup and that cup there is 245 or 250. It's about 50, about 17 mil, I think, overall difference. Yeah, get a caddy, do a Turan something conversion, do a six speed, all the information's out there, it's fine, it's easy. I was told that this is a straight swap. Whether I'm playing with different bits, whether this Caddy Maxi's had a torrid life of, bear in mind it's got a 1.9 gearbox in it, so I'm assuming the drive shafts were swapped with that at some point. Um, anyway, I'm going to put the Turan front end in, see what the track width is like with the alloy wheels on, if not, might swap the steels, put some spaces on the rear. Cool. I've just been underneath trying to put the drive shaft bolts in from the Caddy and they're bigger. Again, as to be expected for commercial vehicle. So there's your caddy, drive shaft bolt. There's your Turan. 
though, quite a difference. Luckily, I kept the Turan bolts so I can use them. Uh, this van's done a lot of hard work, and I think it's probably it's not going to it's not going to get well. I mean, I'm not going to hammer it anywhere near like a commercial vehicle, so I don't feel too bad about putting these bits in. But I'd rather have six-speed to be fair. Anyway. Right, onwards and upwards. At this point, I actually stopped worrying about the camera and just started working late until the night to get this finished. I plugged in all the ancillary wiring, completed all the front end, plumbed all the coolant lines back in, basically everything we just did in reverse, got it up to temperature and it was away we go. Cut to a few days later and James came back to give me a hand taking out the floor so I could reveal the footwells ready for the rear seats. Nice. I'll leave that to you, James, to do the honours. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you got us. Footwells. Yes. The carpet's even moulded for it, look. Look at that. Oh, yes. Mm. You're right there. <laughs> Take it home! Do we have some air valves there? Just fucking walk it around with it. You can check it outside! I'm not outside here! <laughs> yeah, play <well>, cheers, mate! <laughs> there you go, look! Come join me. Oh, we're pretending. Yeah, we're pretending. Sit in the back of my Tehran. Caddy, sorry. There you go. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Lord's bedroom. About a month and a beard later, the windows arrived for the back of the caddy van. And me and James thought, let's fit them. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the uh, panel out. Put some glass in, aren't we? Yep. And it's gonna go. It's gonna go, it's gonna go well. It's gonna go well. It's gonna be no problem. No problems. Nothing at all. Done. It got caught. Hi, in chips twice, please. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as you touch it, does it just explode? Yeah. As soon as it touch it, does it just does it just squirt out all over your fingers? She's a gusher. If you put your finger in the crack, do you get some sticky stuff on the end of your you finger? Get residue. Residue. No one wants residue. No one wants residue. No. <sighs> beep! Beep! <laughs> it was rinse and repeat on the other side for the other window. Now it was time for me to get these Turan rear seat frames cleaned up, cut to shape and then primed, ready to weld into the back of the caddy. I just wanted to say a really big thank you to everybody who watches these videos and everybody who hits subscribe. Really means a lot to me. There will be more coming with the caddy, so watch this space. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? 
Jesus Christ. I think they're in the back. Oh yeah, sorry. What is that, three, four? 